Welcome to Geographical Analysis, Lecture 24 on Bivariate Regression. Regression analysis is a method to test the dependence of a dependent variable, which we'll call y, on an independent variable, which we'll call x. We use regression to determine how much the independent variable influences the dependent variable. One of the results of a regression analysis is that it provides us with the model. This model is expressed as the equation of a line, and the model allows for predictions of the y variable based on observed values of the x variable. Regression analysis provides us with a simplified model of the relationship between variables. That model is going to be an equation of, the, an equation of a line. But the technique allows us to find the best possible line to use for any two variables x and y. So it gives us a way of fitting the model or calibrating the model to a particular sample data set. It also provides us with a host of diagnostic tools in order to, that we can use to evaluate the importance of variables and the correctness of the model. So given a scatter plot of points, and here we're always going to have the x variable on the horizontal axis and the y variable on the vertical axis. So here's x, here's y, here's a scatter plot of points. The regression, a regression analysis will allow us to come up with an equation for the best fitting line through this cloud of points. But how do we actually know which line is the best line? Given a cloud of points, there's many different lines that we can actually fit through the data. So when we use regression analysis, we are going to be using a particular technique that's called ordinary least squares regression, or OLS. I'll write it out. Ordinary least squares. And we'll see why it's called ordinary least, squ least squares. The output of a regression analysis includes an equation for a regression line. In this line, we are predicting values of y using observed values of x. On the left-hand side, we have y hat. Hat here tells us that we are predicting values of yi. We're going to be predicting these values based on the equation of a line a plus bx. Here, a is called the constant. If you remember equations uh, of lines in terms of y equals mx plus b, this is how we learnt uh, in geometry class, this is how we learnt equations of lines usually. We see that in this case, what we used to call the y-intercept and denote with the b is now called the constant when we're dealing with the regression lines and we denote the constant with an a. But it's actually the same thing as this b over here, it's just the y-intercept. We are also going to estimate a statistic called the regression coefficient, which is this b over here. And that b is the slope of the regression line. x, i, is just an observed value of the independent variable x. So given a set of data, x and y, so we're going to have a data set, say we had um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, maybe we had 50 observations. For each observation in our sample, we are going to have an x observation and a y observation. So we are going to have a table like this with our data. And given this table, we're going to use that data to estimate the value of A and B. And we're going to estimate the relationship between X and Y as a regression line. 